what makes the future projections something more than a shot in the dark and gives you as the entrepreneur, us as the investor, some sense that there's some credibility here, that we're anchoring onto something real. I would look at existing market. I'd look at analogs in existing market and I'd say, are there analogs here that make the story believable? Uh, they might not even be in my sector, but they've shown that you can run a business that drives these kinds of sales and they did it last year or they did it five years ago. Think about the market you're in, think about the space that you're in and look for those analogs because those analogs are often incredibly compelling. Look at uh, your, growth, your own growth story and make some reasonable predictions about what your own growth story looks like, recognizing that the bigger you get, the slower your growth is in proportional term, right? So you still might be adding more customers per day or more customers per month, but your proportionate growth will slow down. So recognize that and don't see the world as infinite. Uh, you can just fill this infinite uh, uh, customer base uh, with your product. Uh, how big really is that market? Is it, is it really trillions of dollars? I would guess it probably isn't. Um, and I would think about um, the rate that you need to achieve uh, within the confines of your market. So at some point you'll hit a ceiling uh, in your chosen market. Where's that ceiling going to be? Tell us that story. And then tell us the story of why you might diversify your product palette or you might start looking at new markets. But markets have ceilings and we know that and you know that. So, so come, come to us with compelling stories uh, about how those markets work and what those ceilings really look like. It's all very well saying we can flood the customer's home with uh, product after product after product. We can go from electricity to gas to cooking to whatever it might be. Uh, but bottom line is we're often dealing with households with very finite incomes, uh, very, very tight uh, budgets and, and domestic expenditure. And then even if they wanted to, they, could, they couldn't afford to buy all of the things that you could put at their doorstep. So think about that and come back with some realistic assessment.